Yeah, it's a good question. So I think in the very beginning, I mean, I started, you know, like so many people taking pictures at 10 years of age, 11 years of age. It was sort of a fun thing to entertain myself, entertain my friends, you know, uh, and kind of casual. You know, there was no serious, I'm working on this great essay. It was just more taking pictures of somebody at a party, taking pictures of my friends in the schoolyard, whatever. So that was the way it was. Uh, and even when I set off on a journey at, um, let's see, well, I set off on many journeys from the age uh, 17. I began to, um, well, even the age 16, I went to Cuba and I had a camera. I had bought a, an Asahi Pentax camera, so it was kind of a serious 35 millimeter camera. But I don't recall in Cuba, when I think about it, you know, I was there at a very uh, special time in terms of the Cuban Revolution, the first year celebrating it, and I got to see all the luminaries, but I didn't really photograph. I didn't really make that many pictures. I had the camera. You know, if I look back at the pictures I made at age 16 in Cuba, they're, they're just, a f I just have a few nothing that great lately looking back at my photographic legacy not legacies but pictures in my archives or looking for negatives and so i i don't really see very serious pictures even you know and there are a lot of travels because i hitchhiked to a lot of places and i i always had the camera with me but it wasn't like later years where i had the camera with me and was focused on a specific project, I think, mm -hmm. so it's hard to say. But uh, I do recall <clears throat> from those early travels, I was always impressed by the photo magazines that were popular in those days, like Popular Photography, mm -hmm. Modern US Photography, camera. Modern Photography, U.S. Camera, there was a Swiss Journal, and of course as a kid, uh, oh, if I only could get my picture, you know, into one of those journals, the, photo annuals that were printed every year by, I think, popular photography. So I would go up probably around the age of 18 uh, to New York City and make my rounds. I think it was called Ziff Davis, the publishing mm -hmm. firm that published lots of different magazines. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we were talking earlier about your friend, make my rounds and see the picture editors. And I was just mm -hmm. this 18-year-old kid. Right. Here's my picture from... Guatemala, or here's my picture from Mexico, and somehow um, a few of them were chosen to be in photo annuals, or I was given a feature, I'm not sure if it was modern photography or popular, you know, I was given a feature emerging young photographer. So I don't know that that was a turning point, but it was a little more of a turning point away from at 16 years old, just having the camera around right. my neck. So a camera was like, as our friend over there knows, a kind of a badge that you wore. You know, it, it was your identity. Here I am. I'm, I don't know that I'm pretending to be a photographer, but I have a camera. So mm -hmm. that may have become a kind of tur turning point. And I think it still took many, many more years till my first serious... Uh, I think my probably my first very serious photo essay would have been uh, when I was in Peace Corps training in Juarez, Mexico, yeah. uh, the family of Luis, you know, where I focused just on one particular topic and that family, and I'm not sure how many rolls of film I shot, but you know, more than just the casual walking by a place making maybe an interesting picture. So, so that then became a second turning point. Well, I think from Luis's family, from the initial X number of, it wasn't that many rolls of film, maybe yeah. eight or nine, I yeah. can't remember, that I made mm -hmm. in Juarez, or this barrio of Juarez called Lorenzo, San Lorenzo. I think when I came back, developed them, and again, uh, presented them 
I don't know why it, uh, I went to the Philadelphia Art Museum and showed them to the curator mm -hmm. and he said oh, I like this one that one and that one and I don't know if he bought them he probably did buy them maybe for $25 to be I have no recollection of what he might have paid me but you know the fact that oh somebody in the art museum felt they were good enough to collect uh, for their photo collection mm -hmm. so in reference to your question again it's a kind of turning point and then that mm -hmm. generated in me the desire to go back to mm -hmm. this particular family and do a, a greater uh, in-depth uh, essay 